Every truth has a specific time and moment to manifest itself. Technology being the catalyst for this truth to reemerge and reveal itself again. And proof that it's not a myth, fantasy, or a misunderstanding of our ancestors and all ancient cosmologies. The geography of Earth that is flat and also disguised in words like plains, the Great Plains, the lowlands of Europe, the flatlands, the savannas of Africa, the Amazon basin, salt flats, the mud flats, the depression, the Arctic tundra, the tablelands of Australia, the steppe of Russia, the grasslands of Argentina, the ice sheets of Antarctica, the wetlands of Florida, and the levels of England. Over these vast plains flows rivers and canals like the Nile, Amazon, Mississippi and countless more for thousands of miles flowing level in every direction. The oceans and seas that occupy 70% of Earth is flat and level water. But science have no way to prove that it curves or sticks to a spinning ball by a magic force called gravity. The majority of the seabeds of the seas and oceans are abyssal plains. As we say, as above, so below. The longest line of sight of observing Hudson Bay at 1800 miles and my own Himalayan ranges observation on two occasions of plus 2000 miles is just impossible on a globe Earth. No physicist can debunk the testimony presented here by the first category witnesses, nor the real geography, nor the longest line of sight nor the countless researches, investigations, and evidences that prove we live on a flat and stationary plane. The one who needs to prove that it's legit or not is the globe. Oh, 
the stars, explorers and physicists, Kipper and Picard. Forever beneath us, we see through you like air.